Hi guys, this is one of my side projects. I've decided to put this video up because of the magnificent enemy I've got in my tank. It's probably the only reason. But um, I'll show you some of the th some pointers, I guess, in keeping one, or how I've managed to keep mine successfully, um, and probably just show off some of the fish in there, I guess. But um, let's begin. So. What I've got in my tank is just mostly stinging corals because I've got mostly predatory fish. This was a fowler tank, so it was fish only with live rock. And then slowly started putting in enemies and then I found a variety of stinging corals and to be honest it's all worked really well. Um, that's a clown trigger over there. There's a large majestic angel. He's really big. Um, Got a couple of lionfish hiding in the back corner over there, but they're kind of I'm just sleeping at the moment. Um, a few queen triggers and a red tooth trigger. He's probably my favourite. His personality is really, really good for a trigger. He's the most placid trigger you could get. He's definitely a reef fish. Um, so, got a few jardinis. Those two there. Um, I actually can't remember all the names right now, so I'll just give you a brief intro to Torch. I guess the, only, the main point here is that if you're going to have aggressive fish, um, you're going to need stinging corals, because that's the only way you can keep them. I've got a Picasso trigger, uh, a really fat lawnmower Blenny who doesn't clean anything anymore, he just eats meat, he's carnivorous now. don't know how that happened, but... And there you stop cleaning the tank. Um, there's a, a saddleback clown. So we call him Negro Nemo. And he's hiding in his rose bubble tip there, which is a really nice anemone. It's almost impossible to see it because it's always hiding from the allies, which the Magnifica loves. So, on that point, the Magnifica does go for walks, probably once every six months. Every, every four months, I'd say, you go for a walk across the tank. So um, keep that in mind. I, what I would recommend is that any pumps you have, if they're decently powerful, they need to either be completely enclosed, like these bunch filters are alright because it has many points to suck from and the Magnifica can't cover all of them. But if you have tips like those suction tips there, that's got dual tip, and I found him on the top of that and he couldn't get sucked in because it was too... Uh, they were a little bit more spread apart when that happened, but keep that in mind because I didn't think of that when I bought it. I thought having two tips was kind of annoying in setting it up. Just extra work, but actually it probably saved the tank because you don't want to have him go through a filter. Um, to get a spin of current, I've got two powerful 2,000 litre pumps on either end of the tank. They create a nice little um, swirl of water exactly where the enemy is sitting. I've also got the, the rock arrangement, so he's the highest one because he needs to be as high as possible to the allies. He's practically allies are there, and he's there. I don't even have to pass covering it because he really loves the light. So he's practically on the surface, and this is a six foot tank. Um, he's doubled in size. Um, feed him probably twice a week. I'd say something. Feed him something pretty nutritious, like. Uh, a small piece of calamari, probably the size of that cleaner ass and blue. No bigger, because they actually take a long time to eat their food. Um, he's got a porcelain crab on his base there. The, the Nemo's, well, the clowns, kick him out. So, there's a full Finding Nemo set up there. There's a Marlin, who's the big clown. And there's a really small clown. What's the large clown in the middle there? He was just a baby when we got him. You could barely see him. These guys came with the enemy, but he's you can barely see him in there, but he's there. Come out. And they they really make the whole thing worthwhile. They're just impressive to watch. The fact is that he wouldn't if he didn't stay in that enemy, he wouldn't make it in this tank. The fish are really aggressive. If they're not if they're not poisonous or fast, then they're not gonna do well. You can kind of just see him. 
you need your protein skimmer, which were, which I've got sitting back there, so hang on, and a reactor. You need to keep your phosphates down. To be honest, the anemone is really tolerant. I had 2.0 phosphates, I had everything else dying, but that anemone did pretty well, so I guess flow is important. I do 10% water changes every month, basically at 60 litres, so whatever that works out to be. But try to keep an eye on it. I guess if you ever overfeed them, that's you have to instantly realise that that's going to create a phosphate spike and you're going to have to do a water change. So I did that, I went yabby pumping, brought some yabbies home, made a bit of a mess in there, they really loved it, but they made a mess, and then phosphates kind of exploded. Um, I've got, these are biopower filters, so they do biological filtration. Um, they bring in nitrates, basically having the two of them, and the canister pump, which is, you know, it's an expensive, it's a Eheim professional too, like $100 on a canister pump, but it keeps the nitrates down to zero, well, report zero, it probably won't be zero everywhere in the tank, but you know, it's good, and it's really is good enough for them, for everything in here. So the main ingredient that I, I missed out being a novice was the phosphate reactor, and I'm trialing it now, I'm using Seachem Phosgard, but I think Phosband is supposed to be better. Um, and I heard that there's some in the US, some of really expensive phosphate absorbing products that are much better than those, but this is doing all right, so. So far that's been working for me. Um, honestly, the tank looked like an absolute mess with algae and everything until recently, so everything is exploding out of control. The tank, the filter wasn't even brand new, it was from another tank, but it still took a while. But um, it's good to see it like this, it's doing really well. Um, these, everything is growing and growing, so. Um, now the problem is keeping them separated enough so they don't go stinging each other. And there's another enemy down there. Yeah, some stuff.